This video is sponsored by Mwah. <laughs> Head over to WalandaProudLon.com for Merge, my signature red lip, and my new body care line. But if you really want to make it official, go ahead and sign up to our newsletter where we'll be sending out updates, discounts, new arrivals, and video uploads. What are you waiting for? There are thousands already signed up. You will want to be next. Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. It's Walanda. Today, I decided to talk about this topic because it's not really something I'm going through. It's literally something that I've completely avoided or completely eliminated out of my life. And I was thinking, how come I'm this way? And maybe I could give you guys some tips on the reason I'm this way or the choices that I've made in order for me to be this way. Of course, a lot of it is inherent, but a lot of it is experienced over time as well. So let's go ahead and get into how to get rid of decision fatigue. I see a lot of people, especially on the web, uh, but mainly a lot of people in my circle who really does not, who can't make a decision off rip. They either go back and forth a lot of times and it'd be the littlest things. It's not like, okay, this thing is costing so much money. Should I go ahead and purchase it? It's normally like, oh, I don't know whether to choose this color or this color. In my head, I'm like, yo, just choose one, you know, but not everybody is like that. Not everybody could just see something and choose off rip. And I've seen certain patterns in my life that help me continue to be the way I am when it comes to making decisions, whether it's going to be a good decision or a bad decision, a mistake or a lesson. It doesn't matter. We still have to make decisions overall. So in order to help me eliminate decision fatigue, where let me see. Of course, I don't have my phone. Let me see if I can bring up the true definition of decision fatigue. So the definition of decision fatigue is the idea that after making many decisions, your ability to make more and more decision over the course of a day becomes worse. I literally look within myself to see what are the patterns that I've continuously done throughout my years of living that help me be more direct in making a decision. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start this as number one because I did not even put this on my list, but like as I am talking out loud, this is the number one that, this is the number one thing that came to my mind. And honestly, it literally stems from knowing yourself, knowing what you like, what you don't like, what you will accept, what you won't accept. And that will eliminate a lot of um, difficult decisions in your life. For example, if you do not know the type of person that you are, or if you're constantly going off after trends and just going after what's in, or just going after what you see your neighbor has, or, you know, your sister, whatever, whoever, then you will naturally know what you like. You will naturally know yourself and you will be continuously taking things into your home, bringing people into your life who, will make you really rethink your decisions. It will make you really think like, do I actually like this person? Or do I actually really like um, this item that I purchased? Or was it because of the hype? Or was it because of me not knowing myself? So I'm trying to figure it out. Yes, as we grow up and as we adult, we're going to figure out what we like and what we don't like. So I feel as though decision fatigue is not really... I don't really associate it when you are younger. I really associate it when you are older and you have had the experience in your life and you know your foundation, but you still cannot make those little decisions in order for you to progress in life. That's why I really categorize decision fatigue. Now when you're a kid and you don't know, and it's like, oh, I want pink ice cream or green ice cream type of deal. Green ice cream. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all know what I mean. So that was number one, definitely knowing yourself as an adult. Next tip I have is categorize and subcategorize your choices. For example, when it comes to the purses, you have purses that are for work. You have purses that are for traveling. You have purses that are for um, dinner dates. You have purses that are for just, you know, going to the park. Make sure you're able to have the variety in your wardrobe or in your life or whatever. It has a function for everything. 
everything. And I feel as though this has really helped me because everything is functional in my life. Like there's nothing that's really sit there and collect dust. So if I have three black purses that every, all three black purses has a different function It's different in a way to where like, I don't feel as though I have to pick these two or these five in between them for me to go somewhere. I already know if I got to go out and run errands, I go got to go to, I don't know, like the DMV or something. I know which purse to take because that's like, it's like a no fuss type of purse. So make sure you're able to categorize it and subcategorize it, whether it's seasonal, whether it's color, whether it's size, that will help you eliminate, first of all, a lot of repeats, which is my next step or next tip, but also el eliminate a lot of heavy decision making. So like I was saying, the next tip is to stop buying multiples of one thing. My next tip is a big one because we as female do this a lot. Once we see a, a lipstick that we like, we want it in almost all the shades. And especially when it comes to colors like nudes and reds, it's like, okay, this, this red is not the same as this red, or this nude is not the same as this nude. It's a slight peaky undertone. It's a slight this undertone. It's a slight this shade. And we do this often, but all of that just does is create clutter in our home. And it creates decision fatigue because we are just constantly, constantly surrounded by the same things, but slightly different. And the slightly different doesn't necessarily mean like slightly better quality. It's literally all the same quality. So many things that companies make that slightly are different from the next, which is understandable because they're over here trying to cater to a wide audience of people. So everybody's going to need different undertones, but that doesn't mean that we need to go purchase all of those different undertones because it just does not make sense when a lot of the time it just sit in our collection, collecting dust for no reason. The next tip I have is to have a routine with everything. I tell you, once I started to really settle down here in my new home in Dubai and I had a routine going on, it really helped me make decision making so much better because I have a process and that process is normally always, you know, on par just that's because just of my lifestyle but eliminating a lot of the variables in your life really really help you have a more smoother <laughs> life <laughs> like for me I definitely eliminated a lot of home clothes that I wear so it's not as so I have a lot of clothes that I'm going to try to shift through in my dresser in order for me to wear something at home I know exactly what I'm gonna wear I know exactly what I can wear because it's very minimal it's not a lot now there is a big difference between minimalism and trying to make sure you don't have decision fatigue. I'm not telling anybody to be minimalist, to throw out everything that you're not using and just keep the necessaries. Even though I feel like we should do that, that is not the whole point of this video. This video is to help you make better decisions throughout your life so you're not entirely focused on the little things of life. So we are always super tired mentally by the end of the day because just what the activities that we have going on throughout our lives throughout the day the 24 hours that we have but a lot of the reason is because the little decisions that we decide to make throughout the day they're that they're little but we make it so big because we think it's so necessary when it's really really not so I feel as though definitely having a routine in my life helped me know exactly what I want to eat in the morning. Like there are certain things I eat for breakfast. Um, yes, I would throw in a new recipe here and there, but all in all, I know exactly what I'm going to eat because I have a routine for it. And that, you know, goes on into what I'm going to do after, after breakfast, whether I'm recording a video or whether I'm working on another business, setting that routine definitely is helpful when it comes to making decisions throughout the day, because it makes it more of a smooth transition. I touched on this a little bit in the last tip, but making sure you declutter often. And I'm not saying throw away everything 
and just have one of everything? Absolutely not. I'm saying declutter in a way to help eliminate those decision fatigue. Like I said, having that same color of red, but slightly different undertone where you're not using the other undertones and you have an undertone that you really, really like. Why are you keeping the other ones in every morning trying to figure out whether you're going to use the one you like or the one you don't like just because the one you don't like is still in your collection. It makes absolutely no sense and it makes deciding what you going to wear or do, it's just unnecessary. So making sure you declutter absolutely everything that you don't use and don't go repurchasing it. Don't. Just because it looks good on somebody else, don't think, okay, let me try to purchase this again and make it work for me. Absolutely not. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. Just let it go. Don't purchase it again and keep what works for you. But decluttering gives you a cleaner space, not only in your home or in your car, because I know a lot of us has a lot of junk in our car, but also mentally as well. So you're not sitting here pondering whether you're going to choose between something that you like and something that you don't like just because it's just sitting there staring at you and or you just don't want to waste your money and throw it out. Donate it, throw it out, whatever, uh, whatever you do, just do not keep it in your collection, whatever it is, because it will just bring on decision fatigue even worse. I think my last tip I have on here is don't strive for a collection. This is so, so, so important because I feel as though we become collectors by default. You feel me? Unless you are a super minimalist and you don't care and you just always purchase what you like and that's it. You know, that's a, that's, that's a certain type of person. But I feel like there are, for us females, we get into the cycle of completing. We have the two out of three trio. Three trio? Is it called three trio? I don't think you say three with trio. We have two out of the trio. Yeah. In order for us to feel completed, sometimes we feel as though we have to go hunt and go search for that third one in order to complete our collection. Or we feel unfulfilled or there's a void if we don't go and get that third nude shade of shoes or so whatever it is, or that scarf that, that comes in a duo and we only have one. Like we tend to want to complete, have a complete collection of everything. And if we do not refrain from trying to complete our collection, we will always have decision fatigue because that is one extra item we got to choose between. So, oh, instead of having that one scarf that goes with this cute shirt that I wanted to wear, I have two. Now I got to figure out which, but which of the two scarves are going to go with this shirt. It's like, or which one I'm going to wear that day with that shirt. So a lot of the times we think, okay, yes, our mind is complete because, or we're satisfied because we done completed this collection. It just only brought in more items, more clutter, unnecessary money that was being spent and also trigger more of the decision fatigue when it comes to trying to decide between whatever we have within that collection. But that's it. <laughs>